I'm going to go to you, sir. <laughs> Hello. 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 Um. Oh, as I come to you, my friend, do you understand why I say to you that you're a very serious-minded young man? Yes. Yeah, and I feel as if you're a reflection of someone who's close to you in spirit, too. It's almost as if I'm looking at the same person again. Do you know if you're very like someone in spirit? Did you have a brother at all that passed over at some point? No. You don't know? No. All right. Don't worry. It's just that I'm, it may be your twin soul I'm seeing. But anyway, that was just because I was looking at you. And we're not going to look at you because otherwise I might. Um, but I think I'm going to use... No, I'm going to use blue for you as well. Right. Okay. Now, I know you're a serious-minded young man. I feel that you're also a compassionate young man. Do you understand that? I think you would go out of your way to help a fellow in distress. I don't know why I'm saying that, but yes, you can understand it in that way. And I feel as if there's an influence around you, um, which is a, a very spiritual influence, um, but it's almost as if, well, it, it, may be a, it may be a guide, in fact, um, but someone who, was, who dealt with education, um, so I don't know who this is, really. Um, hmm. I feel that when you were um, at school as a youngster, uh, <laughs> uh, how can I put this, that you... Um, uh, you sometimes did you sometimes get irritated if other people mucked about in the classroom because you wanted to learn and they wouldn't disturbances? Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. And because I think you've always um, been someone who wanted more knowledge and more understanding. Can you understand it in that way? Right. Um, Hmm. And I also feel, and I know you, you mentioned that you're a teacher, I think, aren't you? Yeah. But I also feel that there's um, a kind of interest in philosophy. Can you understand that? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. um, and I feel that there, th this being um, has been, as it were, mentoring you. That's interesting. Uh, using that word, mentoring you, um, and has been, I don't know, preparing you for something. I don't know whether it's happened yet or not, but it, or it's going to happen, but I feel it may well be something that's going to happen in the future. Um, are you intending changing something in your life in some way? Yes. You are? Yeah. Well, it's to do with that. Okay. Sorry, I can't see you. Um, it's to do with that. All right. Um, and do you also have, at times, um, <coughs> very strong dreams? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dreams are, are very wonderful sources of guidance, yes? So you must make uh, take note of them. I don't know who this is, but it's almost as if... Oh, I think it's it's a male, but it's almost as if um, it's we're going back in time, and he's you know he's got a middle parting. It's a bit unusual to have a middle parting, you know, these days. But um, but I feel that, and I feel that, in fact, although I've not drawn it, I feel that he may well have um, you know like um, rimless spectacles or something that would just sit yeah. on his. Do you understand? I do. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so, is that very much there, you know, as it were, mentoring you? Yes. You, so, do you, you understand that illusion, right? So, he's um, very pleased to come forward at this moment of time. I feel as if he was a, a very intense and sort of serious-minded man. Um, hmm. Uh, I, 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 
but you do have a photograph of this person. I you? do, yeah, not here, but... But you understand? I do, yeah. Oh, because I just suddenly felt there was a photograph where he appears a little bit like this. Mm -hmm. Do you recognise him? Yeah, my oh. uh, Uncle Edward. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> well, he's very much with you, and that's uh, wonderful. Um, he's very happy to come forward, as it were, and so you, if you have, do you, do you have that photograph, as it were, living with you? <laughs> Not living with me. So Not living yeah, with you. Well, anyhow, you'll have this picture yeah. of him living with you. <laughs> yeah, he's. Oh, did he have broad shoulders? Do you know? Yeah, kind of medium shoulders. Yeah. Well, I I feel as if he's quite broad shoulders. But he could take on uh, a lot of responsibility. Yeah. And I think you tend to do that too. Can you understand that, Ian? Mm -hmm. um, so he's a wonderful person to have at your back, if I can put it like that, yes? <laughs> um, and he's very happy to come forward to you this night. Um, I've just realized since you've been talking, uh, you're not of these pips, as we would say in Scotland. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I was going to say, I felt as if there's traveling. I don't know if you're intending to be traveling. I traveled further. You, but you do, you understand, because yeah. I feel as if there's a, a thirst for knowledge, there's a thirst for experience. Um, uh, there's a thirst for life, you know, just to, I think you, someone who will embrace life, albeit very quietly in some ways. Can, do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think you might be quite reticent in some respect, but nevertheless, there's a, a beautiful, well, I heard aura just now, there's a beautiful aura around you, and this gentleman has a great love for you, and he has been established as your mentor, your guide in this life. So look at him, and um, you'll see him, yes? You will see him. Uh, it was pretty, I guess, overwhelming would be the word for it. It's my uh, Uncle Edward, or it's my dad's uncle, actually. But okay. He's like my great uncle, but yeah, he's an uh, educator. Right. Just, yeah, mind boggling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you.